Hey, so today I'm going to talk about the Rafa and what I want to talk about is the direction of fluid and how it affects the weight on the Rafa and how the Rafa uh, moves and um, behaves. So according to the manufacturer, the direction of the load is from this angle here like this all the way down. Okay? So I have 90 degrees that I can go. Now about this movement to the sides. So we say about uh, 15 angles to each side. It's okay. Now let's understand for a moment how the direction affects the load on the rougher. So when I pull it like this most of the load, if not all of it, is here on the rear foot. So it's pushing against the wall and hold the rafa in place. When I start to go down with the rope, the center of gravity or the point of the load starts to shift and move okay, to the front part of the rafa. So if I'm pulling the rope all the way down, what happens that the rafa wants to move like this, so the rear foot here will try to slide up and this will go down okay so this is why it's very important in order to avoid this movement is to make sure you have full contact here okay this uh, pad here on the uh, rear uh, foot you have a pad here on the sliding beam and the same pad here on the front foot so when you verify you have full contact here here and here you can go down or to this way, a little bit to the sides, and you don't have to worry about the stability of the rafa. Okay? Um, sometimes on very smooth surfaces, it can slide a little bit, but don't worry, it will find the, the place when the geometric lock is full, okay? And it just stay like this. So just make sure before you start working with the with the rafa, sorry, that we have we have full contact on the pads.